My name is Anubhav and I'm technical marketing engineer at Cisco Systems working for Security Business Group. So uh, this is the second part of uh, our video on Cisco Firepower Threat Defense in AWS. In previous video, uh, I explained about uh, AWS environment and then I spoke about uh, FTD, Firepower Threat Defense and Firepower Management Center how Firepower Management Center is deployed in AWS and how can we add or deploy FTD in AWS. Then I spoke about uh, addition of a VFTD in VFMC or the Firepower, uh, Firepower Management Center. And then we created a couple of uh, uh, policies uh, on VFMC. So this is again uh, our setup. We have outside interface, inside interface. We added uh, VFMC in the previous video, and then we have also installed a v, uh, VFTD uh, uh, in the previous video. Now, in this video, what I'm going to cover is uh, I will go ahead and um, enable routing between outside and inside interface through um, FTD. So I will first enable uh, interface outside, inside, put it in proper security zone outside and inside, uh, enable communication between the two, and then I will take access to Linux out and Linux uh, inside machines and enable pings. And then I will log into uh, CLI of VFTD and I will go to uh, uh, the, um, uh, the uh, Lina interface of firewall and I will show you uh, debug ICMP trace to see if traffic is going through the FTD or not. And then we will see same thing happening on the GUI as well. So we can always track uh, what is happening on, the, um, on FTD from uh, Fireside Management Center. So I will go ahead and pause this video for now and uh, uh, I will resume, uh, I will access all the devices and I will resume this video. I am back in uh, uh, Amazon Web Services console. I can see that all interfaces are up, all devices are okay, every is in, uh, instance state, uh, state is up. So I'm going to uh, now access my um, FMC again, uh, Firepower Management Center, and from Fireside Management Center, I'll go to Device Management. So now uh, I will enable communication between inside and outside interface, and that communication should happen through FTD. So I'll go to uh, this interface here. I'll look at the interfaces. You can see that interfaces have uh, these IP addresses assigned, okay? So uh, this is um, gig zero slash zero is outside interface and gig zero slash one is inside interface. But right now, um, IP address is only assigned. It took this address from the interfaces of uh, Amazon Web Services. Let me go back there and show you that. So under these interfaces, I created uh, interfaces in uh, FTD out and FTD in. So if I click on FTD out and if you look at the interface IP, I assigned this address there, okay, 10.0.250. And the other one is uh, FTD in. So in IP addresses were taken from here, but there is no security zone uh, configuration here as well as... Uh, uh, these interfaces are not uh, operational at the moment. When I say operational, these interfaces are not enabled. So uh, I'll just click on edit here and I will just give it a name. I will uh, say outside. I'll create a new security zone. I will uh, create outside zone. I will enable this interface and I will click on OK. I will do same uh, thing for uh, my gig zero slash one interface. So I will go ahead and type in inside. I'll click on enable. And security zone, I will place it in inside interface. I will click OK. So uh, uh, I have uh, these configurations now, but uh, this configuration is still not pushed to uh, firepower threat defense. In order to push it to firepower threat defense, I will go ahead and click on save here. 
and then I will go to deploy I will select this box and click on deploy so now uh, this con configuration is getting deployed to my uh, firepower threat defense in the meantime I'll go ahead and uh, uh, access my CLIs as well so I have my FTD here so if I do show managers here now so I'm on the on the CLI of FTD uh, this is CLI of FTD if I'll do show managers I should see that uh, dot 51 is the man is manager and status should be completed yes it is because I'm able to access this FTD from FMC so I'll just minimize this and uh, next thing is I'll go back to my AWS console and I will go to instances next step is to uh, access my Linux boxes so I will first access Linux Linux outside box okay so I will go to my CLI again I will open new window I will just resize it a little bit I'll make it a little bit bigger okay I'll just type SSH minus I dash or downloads I will specify location of my uh, file and file is Linux key dot PEM uh, it is case sensitive so I'll go ahead and change it and username for this instance is EC2 users or EC2 user at the rate and then IP address I'll go ahead and paste it this is my let me see this is my outside Linux box I will do IF config here so I have two IP addresses 10.0.250.234 that is the management IP address of this Linux box and I have another interface 10.0.250 200.100 uh, that is out, uh, uh, that is the production interface or the interface which is connected to outside subnet so I'll do a route show route or route on this box I have added a route saying that if anybody is trying to reach 100.0 slash 24 network next hop is 10.0.200.50 and the 200.50 is IP address of my um, FTD so I'll just show you that as well I'll go ahead and open another window I will access my I will access my uh, inside machine as well so I'll just open another window I will resize it again I'll just uh, place these device, these CLIs probably. Okay, so I'm going to access inside machine now. So inside machine is this IP address. I will type SSH minus I downloads dash lnx dash key dot pem space ec2 user at the rate and then I'll paste that IP address here okay what is the problem lnx key dot pem it's the correct address okay I am already connected to the box I'm sorry I was looking at the wrong uh, message so I'll just type if config and I have 100.100 .100 interface which is the inside interface of the device and this is uh, uh, the management interface we can see this from here uh, I will just access my uh, FTD again or instead of verifying it from there I will just go to uh, this interface so 200.50 is outside interface 100.50 is my inside interface 
I will now gain access to my uh, VFTD again. I think I lost previous connection, so I will just reinitiate it. I will open another window, a uh, new window. I will type SSH minus I space downloads dash. Let me see what was the key name. F FTD V dash AWS dash P dot PEM space username is admin at the rate and then I'll paste it here. Okay, so uh, system support diagnostic CLI is the command. So with this command, I'm now in my Firepower uh, command line. I can just type show IP to see IP addresses here. I can type debug ICMP trace. So from my uh, outside box, this is my outside box. If I let me see if I can ping uh, VFTD. So 10.0.200.50 is my FTD. Let me see if it is pingable or not. Yes, it is. So I can ping it. I'll go to my inside box again. So from inside box, I will ping 10. 0.100.50 my D, my next hop address let me see if that is pingable yes it is pingable and let me see if uh, the same thing is visible here as well yeah it is so I we can see that request is reaching here so I'll just stop this ping and now I will initiate through the box ping I will ping 10.0.100.50 200 dot 100 that is the outside Linux machine yes I'm getting replies and you can see on FTD traffic is passing through this FTD I will initiate ping from uh, outside uh, device to inside now so ping 10.0.100.100 Yes, it is pingable. I can see request here. So uh, this is the uh, command line communication. Uh, we can see these uh, debug ICMP on, on FTD command line. Now let me go to my um, FMC and on F FMC if I go to analysis, connection and events, we should see this uh, communication happening here as well. Yes, so I can see uh, source this risk initiator uh, 200.100 is pinging this one and so we can see this happening here as well and we can see that ping is going through now let me go ahead and click on policy here and I will go to the policy again this ping is happening because uh, we have enabled ICMP so I will just go ahead and just try to block ICMP or click on edit here and under ports uh, let me see if I disable or if I delete this rule ICMP rule what happens so I'll go ahead and click on OK I will click on save and then I will click on deploy so once this rule is deployed again I think ICMP should block or should drop so let's see what happens so rule is still getting deployed in the background let's let's wait for that to happen okay now our ping is blocked so I, I don't see ping happening now let me rephrase what happened so we started this demo with installation of fireside management center 
we installed it took access to uh, FMC using CLI and using the public key that was uh, used for deploying that machine or EC2 instance and on the first access we changed our password and then we took access to CLI of uh, FMC and then we went ahead and added FTD in AWS. After installation of uh, FTD we added a command on FTD which which specif on using that command we specified a uh, fireside management center or the firepower management center as the manager for FTD then we went back to uh, uh, command line interface of uh, uh, or sorry we went back to firepower management center and from there we added FTD then we configured outside zone, inside zone, and we placed interface configured name on the interfaces, enabled policy and deployed policy from FMC to FTD. And then we went to uh, Linux outside host, initiated ping towards FTD outside interface, it was pingable. Then we went to inside uh, Linux host, pinged inside interface of uh, FTD, it was pingable and then we initiated ping through the box and we saw that traffic was passing through uh, FTD, uh, VF, uh, VFTD and we could see logs in CLI as well as on the uh, GUI of FMC and then we went ahead and removed uh, ICMP permit statement and redeployed our policies to VFTD and that instantly dropped the communication between or ICMP between outside Linux host and inside Linux Linux host. So in this demo I showcased uh, uh, deployment of uh, FMC and FTD in AWS. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.